All right, guys, we are back for Simple Solutions 34. So for this lesson, guys, we have a vocabulary review, it looks like. So I will go through. Um, you all check your answers and make sure that you have the right answers written in. If you need to pause me at any time to make sure that you have the spelling correct, that is cool. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I will start across. Number, number five across, the study of Earth's surface and its characteristics. That, my friends, is geography. Okay. Number six across, a type of servant who works without pay for a time to repay a debt. That is not a slave, but that is um, an indentured servant. So we're gonna write the word indentured here. All right, number eight, ancient Mesoamerican culture known for its writing system, pyramids, farming techniques, and knowledge of mathematics and science. So let's look, where are we, eight across. So, let's see here, I believe that is the Maya. Okay. Number nine, the weather conditions of an area over a long period of time. Remember we talked about the difference between temperature and climate, and climate is gonna be um, what we see over a long period of time. All right, number 10 across, the um, number of people living in an area, that would be population. All right, number 11, people who established the colony at Jamestown um, I believe that is going to be um, English. Wait, it's English on there. Let's see. English is not on there. It's going to be British. Okay, the British. Number 12, the amount of a product that a business has for sale, um, that is their supply. Number 14, the religion of William Penn of Pennsylvania, that's gonna be Quaker. The next time you guys go to Walmart or Kroger and get some Quaker oatmeal, Think of William Penn because that's who's on the front of the container. This guy right here. Number 15, an important system of overland trading routes that connected China and Europe. That's going to be the Silk Road. All right, so now we are ready for um, our down vocabulary. Number one, language spoken by at least half of the people living in the Western Hemisphere, that's gonna be Spanish. A written agreement, it may end a war, create allies, fix land boundaries, or set up trade agreements, that's gonna be a treaty. Number three, the type of map that shows water and land forms, that is a physical map. Number four, native people or first people to live in an area. When we see first, we should think indigenous. That is four down, okay.
Number seven, lines used to measure the distance north and south of the equator. So north and south is up and down. So that would be longitude. Oh, hang on. Oh, that would be latitude, I'm sorry. And then number 13 is gonna be longitude. All right guys, so go ahead and double check your answers. Make sure you have it all down. All right, good job. I love these um, crossword puzzles. All right, see you guys next time.